It's Tuesday, June 6th, and Apple's WWDC reveals met expectations yesterday with the announcement of the Siri-powered HomePod, an iOS 11 preview, the Mac OS High Sierra update, new iPad Pros, and a bunch of other things. And one of those more interesting other things was the new iMac Pro, a super powerful all-in-one solution for Mac power users working on everything from 4K video to VR to well, just about anything. The hopped up iMac features a new interior design to keep it cool and a lot of horsepower under the hood. Bits are moved around by an 18 core Intel Xeon processor. You can spec the RAM up to 128 gigs, add in up to four terabytes of hard drive space, and new AMD Vega GPUs will power through the 5K display's graphics duties. Prices start at five grand for the iMac Pro and will likely option up quickly when it arrives this December. Hit the link for more details. In the expected news category, Apple debuted the HomePod, their answer to Amazon's popular Echo line of HomeBot speakers and Google's similar home device. Digital assistant Siri runs the HomePod's show, and while we expected there to be some sort of screen involved, there's just a colorful little light on the top of the device, which you can get in white or dark gray. And if you buy two of them, Apple says they'll work as high-performance stereo speakers, which is sort of nifty. Unusual for Apple, though, is third-party compatibility for the HomePod. Using AirPlay 2, the HomePod can feed tunes to speakers made by Bang & Olufsen, Bose, Denon, Macintosh, Bowers & Wilkins, Polk, and others. Your iPhone functions as the HomePod screen, and of course, you can talk to it either while in the room or a world away on your iPhone. It works with HomeKit for you smart home fans, and like the iMac Pro, it'll be out in December. Apple showed off a bunch of new tricks in iOS 11. That new Files app does look pretty sweet. But the thing that really got our attention is an upgrade to Apple Pay that allows for peer-to-peer -peer or person-to-person -person payments. The money transfer ability will be in an app that works with Apple's texting app, iMessage. So when your cousin hits you up for that 20 bucks you owe, you can settle the debt with a few clicks. Funds can come from a bank account or an Apple Pay cash card that lives in your Apple Wallet app. Pretty convenient, maybe a bit too convenient, actually. Anyway, we've got a full wrap up on all the hot new features in iOS 11, which Apple says will debut this fall for free, of course. That's all for DT Daily today. Get more tech news updates on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And be sure to check out our newest computing podcast, Close to the Metal, where we'll be covering all of the latest from WWDC. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.